This edition of Mac Voices is supported by Mac Stock Conference and Expo and the Midwest Mac Barbecue, set for July 16 and 17 in Woodstock, Illinois. Join me along with Melissa Davis, the Mac Mommy, Jody Spangler of Lakeshore Mac, technologist Kirshen Sia, and Wally Cherwinski of Magic 22. Find out more and register to attend at macstock2016.com. Mac Voices is in Las Vegas for NAB. I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, you never know who you might run into on the show floor. I ran into Rich Harrington just walking around, which I'm kind of surprised, Rich, because you've got a full schedule here. I have like little pockets of half hours where I turn my name badge over so I don't get asked technical questions, and I go and try to see what cool new toys are coming out. And then some guy ropes you and sticks a microphone in your face. It's okay, Chuck. I've known you for a long time. You have a great show. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, you, seriously, you are doing a lot of things here. I, knew you, I know you're doing at least some training to start with. Yeah, I've, I've been the chair of the NAB Post-Production World Conference. I'm the program manager. I come up with the content, and I work with Ben Kozic and Future Media Concepts on that event. They're great folks. And so we have to come up with all the classes that are taught here at NAB for the people working in video production and video post-production. So that's fun. And I've got about 12 classes in there, ranging everything from 4K cameras to we went shooting time-lapse out in the desert with folks, which is great. We talked about GoPros. Today we talked about the state of web video. Tomorrow I'm talking about the Apple ecosystem and doing even a session for students on how to get hired when you have a job interview. So just lessons learned the hard way after working as a manager for so many years and a business owner. So it's just helping folks out. But I've also had a great chance to stop into a couple of my favorite vendors like Drobo. And I've also been over at Atomos and x talking about color and Adobe this week, just sharing tips. So you know, not everybody can afford to take classes. So I enjoy getting on the show floor, doing free classes so people can learn things too. That's a part of NAB that I think a lot of people overlook. This, the show floor is cool and we all want to see what the new toys are. But you can come here, you can get so much great training. Some is paid, some for free, yeah. but you walk away. I, I always walk away with my head ready to explode. It's just like, I need to absorb all this and keep it there. Well, that's the thing that a lot of people forget. Like, it's great to see new equipment, but if you don't have the skills to use that gear, if you don't keep up on trends like shooting log video or, you know, we're here at a booth with drones and, you know, learning how to use this as a real production tool, it's amazing. And the choices you can make on how you shoot or what gear you pick are really diverse. And so if you don't understand how to make those choices, you end up spending money you don't need to, or you end up buying the wrong gear. So I think once the storyteller knows how to use their tools, it opens up all sorts of options. Um, I'm, t I'm not going to ask you what the coolest thing is you've seen here, but one thing I do want to ask you is I can't even keep up with, with all your projects. I lose track. Their websites, their books, their yeah. our podcasts. Um, is there any way to for you to break it all down and explain what you do? Sure, I'll give people the short version. Uh, you know, I'm a creative storyteller, and I've got a visual communications company in Washington D.C. So we're about a 20-person shop. We work with nonprofits, cause-oriented groups, and others, helping produce. TV commercials, fundraising pieces, things like that. So that's that's where my heart is as far as my art and my craft. And we have a studio in Washington, D.C., two uh, full shooting studios, 4K shooting studios. You know, the building is just called Media Factory, and that's a lot of fun. Uh, but I come from a publishing background. I've written 40 books, done about 115 videos through the years for people. And uh, so I publish a website called Photo Focus, which has got 22 great photographers who write for it and share practical photography tips. We launched a new online learning platform called Think Tap Learn uh, here at the show, which is allowing people to get video courses that you can get in other places, but also have an interactive component. Actually participate in live events, take self-assessment things, uh, tools, quizzes, be able to get hands-on files and be able to get access to templates and project things and worksheets and shortcut guides so that you can move to that next level. And what I find is, is that people really are disjointed. They buy products, then they go and try to find the knowledge to use them, but then they never really check to see if the knowledge stuck. And so after all these years of being an educator and coming from a family of educators, I'm trying to synthesize that. So I split my time really between three efforts. One is being a hands-on creative, and I got a great team for that. Uh, I spend about a third of my time going into places like television stations and major publishers, and I fix their workflows. I solve and teach their folks how to get more done, 
how to have a better, more efficient pipeline for broadcast television and things like that. And, and the other third of my time is just spent trying to help the everyday person, making educational content about photography and video, because I love this as a medium and I want them to survive. That's where all the podcasting stuff came from. When I started my career, I was lucky. I had mentors. I started as a kid in Des Moines, Iowa, after going to college, not a media hotbed, but because these people took me under their wing, gave me resources, answered my questions, gave me advice. When I, time, when I moved to Washington, D.C., I'd already been directing live TV at the age of 25. You know, I was doing all this stuff that normally you don't get to do until you're a 40-year-old. And so I learned that age is just a number and that barriers aren't real. And so I really wanted to take that opportunity I'd been given and pass it on to others in the world and make sure that if people had the right attitude and the desire, that I would unlock anything to do with photography or video for them so they could be more creative, whether that's as an artist or as a business professional. I just want to make sure that they succeed. I love these mediums. I'm a visual storyteller, and I don't want people to have barriers if I can smash them down. Well, I know how much I've learned from you, and I really appreciate all the efforts. I know there are a lot of people out there that do as well. So keep it up, but get a little sleep too. Oh, I do. Believe it or not, I'm a Boy Scout leader, a Girl Scout leader. I sleep six to eight hours a night. That's a, I check in my sleep yeah. on the job <laughs> on. I, I exercise five days a week, so uh, it's just a matter of getting rid of the distractions in the life and removing the parts that aren't important. I'd love to see my family more, but I'm really good at that. I've got a great wife. I've got great kids. And uh, the secret has just been to remove the things that don't add value to your life. If you stay focused, I got a real simple work philosophy. Uh, I had my 40th birthday a couple of years ago and the epiphany was I'm only going to work with people I like and respect on projects that I find somewhat fulfilling. I got three rules for taking a job. I got to make sure that I'm paid a fair price. I got to make sure it's good for the demo reel. And I got to make sure that the people that I'm working with are nice or enjoyable. And I'll take two out of three. I don't have to have all three. You never get all three. But if they can hit two of the three, I take the job. But if they're mean and it's bad work, I don't take it. If it's great work and you know I'm getting paid fairly and the people are a little bit difficult, I'm a big boy, I can get by. But if you just follow those simple rules of working with people that you enjoy and you respect and taking on projects that are good for your long-term career, that you're being paid reasonably for, for people that are good to work with, this isn't a job, Chuck. I mean, this is a great lifestyle. We get paid to play with toys, make pictures, travel the world, help people solve their problems. It's, a, it's an awesome gig. You're not supposed to tell people that it's not a job. That was, that was, you weren't supposed to hear that. Life lessons from Rich Harrington. All right. Rich, uh, the website where folks can learn more or, sure. or about everything you do. Uh, my personal blog is richardharrington.com, and that links to a lot of my other stuff. Uh, the new online learning company is called Think Tap Learn, and we also publish photography education every day at photofocus.com. So I do know I have a lot going, but what's awesome is, is across the board and all these efforts, we got almost 60 people working, helping other people, doing, you know, producing educational content. So it's really exciting to just have such a great team of people. And that's been the secret. Video is a team sport. So is, and so a lot of people mistakenly, you know, think that they have to do everything themselves. They never get help. And it's just awesome to be able to collaborate with other great professionals. Great. Rich, thanks for the time. I know you've got stuff to do, but I really appreciate it. All right, thank you, Chuck, for having me. Good to see you. You as well. Folks, more from NAB in Las Vegas. You never know who else I might find. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.